Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I know you just watched the unbagging of the product that I got from FG Normal and since it is America's Independence Day I thought I would start the red, I call it the red, white, and blue dragon and I am going to stitch one strand half strand of thread from red white and blue so this will be a short one but I did want to show you something I took both the kits and I put a little bit of water on you know, not on it but you know, like used a wet rag and to make sure that the ink would come out and it was starting to come out on the first one and it was starting to come out on the, the dragon so I just wanted to make sure before I went to all the trouble of stitching all this and the ink wouldn't come out so just so you know and the first color I'm going to be using is 498 so we're just gonna stitch right here yeah I just thought this would be kind of fun and not very long so you can get back to your day Thank you for spending your day, or at least part of your day, with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, I just thought that was kind of quirky, and why not, right? I don't have many patriotic things that I do. I mean, as far as cross-stitching goes, I don't have any patterns like that. But I thought, why not, right? And this will be kind of a shorty video. But yeah, and we'll just get it started. Have the starts for this week, huh? But I did want to check the canvas. So from now on, when I get canvases from the stores that I review, um, I will be just taking like one of these numbers you know that's along the side that I'd never even pay attention to and just put a dab of water on it and see if the the ink comes out before I go to all the trouble of stitching it and then finding that out in the end and I will report back you know to y'all so y'all know whether or not it comes out it doesn't come out and then we can address those things I can, you know, like email the company and say, hey, it didn't come out, what's going on? So, yeah, it seems to be a big hoopty right now, so I just wanted to address it so that you would know that if you purchased it, the, the ink will or won't come out, you know, as the case may be. But, yeah. So, how is everybody doing? Is it hot where you're at? It was hot yesterday. I am telling you, hot, 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 hot. Just, just that way yesterday. I mean, man, we stayed inside. Now my boss, she likes the heat outside and being in the sun and all that of course you know her body reflects that because you know she's always outside doing something so she's all nice and tan me I'm still pale as ghost yep it might change over the summer but I'm not real sure whoops oh don't do that don't 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 yep don't so we can only get a few stitches in here oh my I don't think that's gonna work we're just gonna pull that last stitch out yeah I just thought this would be fun to use red white and blue thread and the white is the 3865 
and we'll just start right here. Thread quality is really good in these kits, and I wanted to check the uh, the canvas because this is printed up here along the top a little bit different than some of the others that I'd gotten, and it kind of sent off a red bell. But if you're ever in doubt, just just go to some of this stitching or stitching these numbers along the top that. I don't pay attention to. Now, you can still count down to 10, 20, 30, you know, or across 10, 20, 30. But just take one and just rub it with a towel with a little bit of water on it. And if it, you know, give it a second, you know, and see if the, if you're ever in doubt, if the uh, ink will come out. And if it doesn't, you, you can go from there. I even have my red, white, red and blue nails with sparkles today. Yeah. So I thought, well, I still got those on. Not on. I painted them on my real nails. I do not use fake nails because I, in the past, like way, way past, I used to use those glue on with uh, super glue nails yeah they ruined my real nails pretty much and it took years for them to come back so yeah we don't do that anymore just don't do that So anybody going to go see the fireworks tonight or going to have a barbecue with friends or family or anything, I get to work. Yay! So consequently, I'm making this video before I go to work. I don't know how busy or not busy it will be. Yesterday, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't overly busy at all, so that's a good thing. Alright, let's quit before we totally run out. I think my uh, daughter and the grandkids and my, my son-in-law, they're going to go out to the... We have a rodeo ground. Nothing like Cheyenne Frontier Days or anything like that, but they do have a little rodeo... Mm, the first couple of weeks of uh, June. So I'd, I've never been to a rodeo there. I did the Cheyenne Frontier Days. All right, we're on to blue. And it's a green square. So we'll just start right over here. Because it says number 24. A beautiful color blue. This blue is 803. So I don't know what I'll be stitching on. It'll be tomorrow because by the time I get home tonight it is going to be a yeah. I, I will have had enough and I may or may not feel like picking up a needle. So this may be the only stitching I do today. But I just thought this was kind of different. I did watch uh, Natalia um, 
Love Craft Forever yesterday. And evidently, Joy Sunday has come out with some 16 count cross stitches. I guess I never paid attention at the, you know, when I was at these stores. Oh, come on, really? Okay. Trying to tuck that little loop in there because I ain't going backwards. I cut that thread, but it's fine. And uh, anyway, they have Joy Sunday now has 16 counts. And I can't remember, I think it was New Craft Day that she was doing a review for. And yeah, I'd kind of like to see what those look like. And she did water test them as well. As I was making the video for the uh, you know for the opening of this I was thinking about you know testing it because I noticed that the like I said the numbers looked kind of different so I wanted to make sure and sure enough there was that video so it's just it's kind of a good little practice and just do a part you know that's not going to amount to nothing you know I mean as far as it's not going to alter your your pattern in any way uh, shape or form Let's see if I can get that down yes I did that was kind of tight all right so we got red white and blue all right, guys, I told you this would be a real quick video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a happy and healthy 4th of July. Be cautious. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.